What's up? Um, little review. I was given the Grenadier uh, for a couple days. I previously owned a 4Runner, so I kind of like know this kind of size of vehicle. But however, I didn't go off-roading in it, so I drove this around the city, but these are my like pluses and minuses, I guess, you could say from the car. First of all, I like the size of the car. I feel like it has really good room. I like the seats, the Recaro seats. Those things fold down. Um, I feel like it has more room. I also own a Jeep, so I feel like it has way more room than a Jeep. I like the trunk space. Right now we have four tires back there. Ooh, what's that? BBS. We got four tires back here, so it, 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 holds, it holds, holds a good amount of stuff. You can fold the seats down. Wow. Here's the interior. What's up, Ewo? What up, Ewo, what you like about this car? I honestly do like the switches. It yeah, the, the it switches, very, it makes it look uh, like it's a military, huh? Military, it's different, man, I like it. So, uh, this controls the power in the back. Um, these control, I think, some off-road settings, you know, traction control, blah, 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 blah. Here's the, here's the center console. Like I said, BMW transmission and engine, I believe. They just, they just changed the, Change the output, you know, tuned it a little differently. Interior's nice. Recaro seats. Oh, this is Leather. definitely. Oh yeah, dude, these are comfortable. These are so the comfortable. Seats. Oh yeah, yeah, I like this too. The, oh, the door hatch. You can prop up the door hatch, get some fresh air, and it actually protects you really well from the sun. It's not like just the sun's beaming on you. Like this might be five percent tip. Yeah. And you could just knock this whole thing out and just get a fresh sunroof. Introduce yourself real quick. Uh, e will. Eric uh, Wilson, uh -huh. in the flesh. In the flesh. Green body Bay, beautiful. Green Bay Packer, body, body beautiful. beautiful. Swallows guy, I know. <laughs> and those are his BBSs back there. We about to put them on your what? BBS, boys! I got a 95 M3. For the low, I got it on an auction. <laughs> now we building it up, baby. <laughs> I feel like one thing I like about it is the engine. I feel like, obviously, it's the, it's the super engine, the BMW, but I like it. I like it in the Supra and I like it in this. I feel like once again, compared to my 4Runner, it's a lot faster. Um, gives you more of that, mm, that get up. 4Runner was just slow and it was kind of like hard to get, you know, up to speed sometimes. But I feel like this is just like the perfect amount of speed. I know people love the V8s and stuff like that, but like the G-Wagons are like 200K. But the, but you get the G-Wagon feel, like the, the hood, how, how, it, how it feels like a tank, how the doors close, like that, that's, that's the kind of feel you get. I feel like, um, you get all types of stairs and looks and thumbs up out the window. So people think it looks cool and I think it looks cool. Definitely get some eyes on Definitely the streets. Definitely get some eyes. The only thing I don't like about it is the wheels, which is like, I don't like the wheels on the Jeep. I don't like the wheels on anything, you know, stock. So I would just get some, you know, not some BBSs. I'll get some methods on there. And BBS. I mean, these are the these are great tires though. I had, I had, I had the duelers on my 4Runner. They're a lot beefier and I had a lift kit. So I feel like, this car with a lift kit and some wheels would be sick. Yeah, it'd be sick. beastly. Yeah, it has better space like, than a G-Wagon, but it's obviously not the same price, but it doesn't have the V8, you know? It's like kind of like, but it looks cool. The front of it looks cool. Now, one of the things I really don't like about it is the steering. It's a little loose for me it's made for off-roading. So I haven't taken it off-roading. You know, it's a little loose for city driving. I want it to be a little bit sportier, but I heard that you can get a part to make it a little bit crisper on the steering. Another thing I don't like is, I like an analog speedometer. The, spe the speedometer is over here and it's digital. Um, it has Apple CarPlay, all that stuff. This is like the where the, the, the warning lights and stuff come up right here. I'd like to have a analog, you know, speed dial in front of me a little bit. You know, I like the digital too, but you know, a little bit of both, I would say. Overall, I've enjoyed driving it the last couple of days. It looks cool. 